this episode, The Birth of Jesus. Howdy y'all, I'm Pastor Mark. I'm the pastor of Copeland Christian Church, and this is Theological Moments with Pastor Mark. Well, it's good to be back with you all today. We're going to talk about Jesus' birth, as it is the week of Christmas, which starts in chapter 1, verse 18, and reads as follows. Now, the birth of Christ happened this way. While his mother Mary was engaged to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband-to-be, was a righteous man, and because he did not want to disgrace her, he intended to divorce her privately. When he had completed this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, because the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus, because he will save the people from their sins. And this all happened so that what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet would be fulfilled. Look, the virgin will conceive and bear a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph awoke from the sleep, he did what the angel of the Lord told him. He took his wife, but did not have marital relations with her until she gave birth to a son, whom he named Jesus. Now, most of us who grew up with this story probably don't find it too hard to believe. It's just a wonderful, awe-inspiring story, uh, which we largely take at face value and, and perhaps even for granted a little bit. And yet, for many who were not raised with this story, uh, it's quite fantastic, even unbelievable. An engaged virgin found to be pregnant, a fiancé who buys this Holy Spirit business and marries her anyway? Wow! Mary and Joseph were engaged. You might be familiar with this verse saying betrothed, uh, except as modern Western thinkers, we don't have anything that resembles betrothal uh, because betrothal was way more than our modern engagement. It took a certificate of divorce uh, to separate it. And so Mary, being alleged to have had uh, relations with another man, uh, would have been grounds for not only divorce, but the death penalty for her. And so Joseph, uh, being a righteous man, which means that he was a law-abiding, God-fearing Jew, went about divorcing her because that's what the law said to do in the situation. But because he didn't want to disgrace Mary or uh, he didn't want her to be punished to the full extent of the law, set about doing so privately. I suspect that Joseph was heartbroken, uh, unclear as to what could have gone wrong, this woman that he is... Uh, come to know and love is also a God-fearing Jewish woman uh, having cheated on him and broken their vows uh, would have been you know, unimaginable, literally unimaginable. And yet here she is. And so what does all this mean? What is he to do? Luckily, as he considered this before he could do anything, an angel of the Lord came to him in a dream. And he told him all about the son that Mary was pregnant with uh, and that he should not be afraid to marry Mary because the son was the result of the working of the Holy Spirit. Now, what strikes me most about this moment in the story is uh, that Joseph, we see, is obedient. If we think about it, it shouldn't surprise us at all because Matthew's just told us what type of man Joseph is. He's a righteous man. He's a good, God-fearing Jew. If an angel appears to him, and says, this is what the Lord says, of course he's going to be obedient. And so while it was difficult, doubtlessly, for Joseph to understand the how this happened, the what and the who would not have been difficult for him to grasp at all. So hence, we see his obedience. What is recorded is that Joseph woke up and was obedient to the instructions which the angel had passed on to him. And the son was born and he named him Jesus. And so the Savior of the world entered into time and space as a little baby in an obscure village to an obscure new husband and wife to fulfill the scriptures. And he was called Emmanuel, God with us, the Savior of the world. Well, that's all for today. So if you like this video, please click the like button and share it with a friend. Um, if you have comments or ideas for future videos, please leave that in the comments section. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and push the notification bell. I hope you all have the merriest of Christmases. We'll see you next time.